Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Well, we're here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dan Waddell Stables in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Look, I'm looking forward to the day, Jerry. I really am. Me too. Me it's too. A lot going on. So, uh, but as soon as you do your bit, we'll get on with it. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, world grand champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000, or select amateur show pleasure world grand champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition, and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these world grand champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Welcome back. I guess, Jerry, the only announcements we got is uh, we're coming up next weekend is Spencer Benedict's Stallion Showcase. That's where he showcases all the stallions in his breeding barn. I tell you, he, has some, he got some nice stallions that he's standing oh, over yeah, at that place over some, there. He's got some really good ones. Some, That's over at Jacob's Farm. Yes. And then uh, after that, we got Philadelphia, Mississippi. Yes. Luther Watson Company putting that one on. And then the trainer show. Yeah. That, uh, I want to remind everybody, you need to get your show cards and, and your horse cards. But now Tweeba's got a discount on the uh, horse card, I believe. If you're a member of the Breeders, you get a $50 discount. Get a $50 mm -hmm. discount. I yeah. was thinking that was right. And them, um, them show cards are very worth it, I'm telling you. A lot of people don't realize it, but I tell you, it helps this industry. And it helps everybody to 
pay to get the, get everything done. Well, we got a struggle in front of us, and people need to realize that it's not going to be it's not going to be easy. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some hard work. Frank Eichler has really worked hard, and he's exposed a lot of things that people, you know, they didn't know, but now they do. So we, we need to capitalize off the situation we've got at hand. But uh, tell you what we're going to do. Let's, uh, let's start doing some interviews and video on some horses, what do you say? That'll work. That sound like a plan. We gone. We're here at Dan Waddell Stables, and I am with the head lady of the barn, Mackenzie Waddell. Now, how are you doing? Good. Good? Are you going to ride for us today? Yes, ma'am. What so, are you going to ride? I'm going to ride Jose today. How old is that horse? 19. And you're 8? Yes, sir. That's 11 years. That horse is 11 years older than you? Yes, sir. How long have you been riding? I've been riding my whole life. Your whole life? Yes, sir. All eight years? Yes, sir. Now that was a trick, right? You just love the horses. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show this year? Yes, sir. All right. What about, you didn't get to show last year, did you? No, sir. All right. Well, what else do you do? I like to trail ride a lot. I've heard that. Now, I heard you love to trail ride. Yes, sir. Where'd you get that bow in your hair? Mm, my mom got it made. She got it made for you? Well, it's yes, pretty sir. good. It says Dan Waddell Stables McKenzie. Yes, sir. So that just takes care of everything, doesn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Now, how long are you going to ride today? Mm, a few laps. A like. few laps? Yes, sir. All right. Well, what's your favorite horse in the barn? My favorite horse in the barn? Barn beside mine is probably on a member. I knew you had to say that now, so Kim would be upset if you didn't. I got I got video of you with honor and remember. You know that. Mm -hmm. You like that horse, don't you? Yes, sir. What about the other ones? You like those too? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna go let you ride, and we're gonna get some video of that. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, let's go do it. Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. That was a real good interview with Mackenzie. I, I think she's gonna be a real good rider. Uh, she got a good posture. She sits on that horse and she's like she's having fun. And for her first time of showing, I'm looking forward to seeing her in the ring. I really enjoyed interviewing Mackenzie. Now she she's going up. She's gonna be one of these young ladies that really really gets it done. But now I'm going to interview Mr. Dan Waddell as soon as we come back from this short commercial break. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. 
breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee Walking Horse Champion. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dan Waddell Stables in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Now we're going to do an interview with the head trainer at Dan Waddell Stables. I'm here with Dan Waddell, and Dan, I'm gonna we we watching some good horses this morning. Yes, sir. Now I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm honor and remember. 232 honor and remember Dan Waddell, riding from Georgia, Tim Lewis, Naval, Alabama. But now, you went from a few years ago, you had four horses, and now you've got a barn full of horses. 47 head. 47. That's a good sign you've been showing a lot. Well, I tried to anyway. <laughs> well, I told them, I said, I was talking to some people a few minutes ago, and I said, I went to Jimmy McConnell's one time to interview him, and he said, sure, come on out. And I said, all right. I got there, and I set just like I did today. I, I guess it's about three hours. And uh, finally they took a break and I got to interview him. <laughs> and, and I told him while we was in there, I said, just like Jimmy, you're on and off, on and off, which is a good thing. You show your horses and you train them. Yes, sir. Yep. 
Name some of your good horses that you've got. Of course, obviously, honor and remember. He sort of got the ball rolling for me up here. Uh, honor of the Ritz, um, really good, uh, a great honor. Uh, got a mare called Happy Face, she's been really good mm -hmm. to me. Um, of course, oh my Black Betty, she's uh, been super good to us. Won three-year-old mare of the year this year. I uh, was second at the celebration. She did real good all year long. Um, we've got a bunch of young horses we're really uh, high on right now. So. Well, I tell you, I'm a big Red Alert fan. Yes, sir. I yes. love that horse. I love the color. I love his uh, him and Mayor Bill. Mm -hmm. A Red Alert. Yeah, Dan! Dan Waddell is riding. The you're on with George and Kim Lewis. Champion for the two-year-old gilding division, sired by Master of Jazz and out of Opco Red, bred by G. Russell Wright and son, George and Tim Lewis, on the Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell. George and Tim Lewis on the entry from Alabama. Dan Waddell and Mayor Bill. Both of them owned by the same people, Kim and George Lewis. I hate to go naming <laughs> so many horses I miss out on. So hey. Bill, you can't <laughs> leave him out. And of course, Red Alert, and it's just said Master Design was awfully good to me last year. Well, we've Thank seen you. some this morning with the, with y'all riding. It's just, I mean, super, super nice horses. And mm -hmm. they're, most of them were young. Yes, sir. Two and three year olds, mm -hmm. which is, is really good. Mm -hmm. Shows what we've got coming and where we're at. But let, let's talk about this year mm -hmm. and uh, honor and remember. Yes, sir. You won several classes with him. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you, I just think he, he, he phenomenal horse, Thank really. You. Thank you, thank you. He's a horse. special horse. So. Well, yeah, just, and I've often wondered this, I've never asked him, but has she ever thought of showing him too? She's been riding him a little bit this <laughs> winter. So we're I'll gonna go. see, because this year I've got honor the Ritz too. He's five now and he stepped yeah. up into the age competition, mm -hmm. so. We're just going to, I tell everybody we're going to play it by ear and let everything work out like it's supposed to. So. Well, I seen one in there a few minutes ago, Golden Honors, mm -hmm. that uh, super nice horse. Yes, has a good color. But, uh, but, but you just, I don't know, when you go through there and you look at them, of course, you, you have told, talked about them, but like yesterday's wine mm -hmm. and, and some of these others, it, it's just, you, you just got good stock. Well, I appreciate it. I, I sort of grown up with it because my dad and... My grandfather trained and was Jimmy McConnell. I, I sort of had two heroes in my mm -hmm. life, Jimmy McConnell and Billy Gray. So I was fortunate enough, I spent 30 years working for Jimmy. And he's, I consider him my dad. And, uh, well, I knew you worked so with him a long time. Learned, learned a lot through those years. So. Well, he's, uh, mm -hmm. he, 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 anytime you mention some of the legends in the industry, Jimmy McConnell's name is right up there with him and Billy Gray and uh, the Pascals and all the ones sure. from yesteryear. Sure. But, Jimmy, Jimmy's up there at the top, no mm -hmm. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But how long have you been out on your own? Uh, since 2016. 2016. I spent uh, four years in Georgia, and uh, cause I've been up, this will be my fourth year in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. so. Well, you're doing very well. You're out here on 64, and, and beautiful facility out here, good place to ride. And this morning, we had a barn full of people. Yes, sir. I mean, there was people everywhere yes, out sir. here. We usually have people every day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's usually nonstop people in here, which is not complaining. It's a good thing. So. Well, any time you got a full barn, it, it's it, 
it's good. Yes, sir. I mean, exactly the more you right. have, the more you get. Mm -hmm. Well, some of the things I wanted to talk to you about was how your what your plans are for this year, mm -hmm. and you know just the way that you're going to attack the the show season, I guess. Same way I always have. Just try to. Uh, I sort of let the horse tell me when they're ready to show, especially these young horses. Um, cause people plan out when customers from out of town when they're coming, try to have them ready for them. Just uh, just play it bare. I'm I'm big on letting the horse sort of dictate to me when he's ready. And, well, uh, I can I can flat understand that. Well, we we got I've got to talk about our horse cards. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like it. A lot of people don't. Personally, I think it's a great idea. This is a great idea. Uh, it's, it's a good way to raise funds to include everybody, and, uh, and 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 that's why I wanted to ask you how you felt about them, which you just told me. Mm -hmm. But uh, looking forward, I, I just the horse cards will will help us in a lot of ways. But we're not the only ones now. Woe has their horse card that you have to have in order to show at one of their events. Yes, sir. So this is not a whole lot different. No, it's not any different. Mm -hmm. And it's years ago, we used to have the, the same thing. And then for some reason or another, it went away. But it's, you know, it's uh, it's everything we've, we've got a, uh, I think that now's the time we've got a uh, great foot to stand on with our horse. And uh, they're in good shape, they're compliant. And uh, it's just uh, time for us to stand up for ourselves a little bit. Well, you've been in the horse industry for years and years, and I go way back to mm -hmm. the Toby Greens and yes, the sir. Buddy Hugh days mm -hmm. and, and Vic Thompson mm -hmm. and all that bunch. So I've seen it prog progress, and I watched the way the change the changes took place in the horse industry. It's one of the reasons we started Water Horse, because mm -hmm. the horse we have today is not the horse we had no. No, it's in, not. In, in the 60s, mm -hmm. in the 70s, or mm -hmm. even the 80s. Yeah. We've got to a situation now to where the horse we have is is so much better. Oh, there's no and, doubt about it. So. Well, the breeding, the mm -hmm. breeding has changed a lot and done a lot of difference. So mm -hmm. it made, breeding it's made that's it. the number one thing, and and these horses just like athletes, and, and it's unbelievable. I remember looking back when I was a kid back in the '70s and early '80s, horses that I didn't think could ever be beat, and I look back at some of those old videos now and. I wonder if they could compete today with it. Yeah, that's things. fact. So. I mean, you go back years, and I can too, and I've seen some of the best that, that there was. Mm -hmm. Triple threat, the whole bunch. And I look at these today, and from three-year-olds, you can see it in a two-year-old, mm -hmm. but really when they start to, to move forward and they hit that three-year-old, you, you start seeing a little bit more, and then when you see them as a four-year-old, mm -hmm. that's when you really see what that's you've right. got. And uh, Kim Lewis, she made this statement to me, and, and it is so true. She said a four-year-old is kind of like a teenager. You don't know, you know, from day to day, what, which way they're going to turn. That's the truth. And, and it, and it's true. But mm -hmm. when they lock in and do their thing, then it's my belief that the abuse in the walks and orders industry, everybody wants to talk about the Humane Society, is gone. What I, we're looking for now through the actions that we're taking is just straight up ethical, honest inspections. And, and I believe it, we're on the road to where we're going to get that. Sure, sure. I agree with you. You know, we, we've taken a bad rap through the years. Uh, speaking for most horse trainers, we do this because we love a horse. And I don't do it for all the glory and stuff. I do it because I love a horse. It's since as long as I remember, I loved a horse. And, why am I going to abuse something that I love? And on top of that, makes my living. Takes that's care it. Of my family. So don't um, want to hurt them. You just yeah. want to move forward with them, and mm -hmm. and that's that's what it's all about. Sure. But I can sure say this that I I've, I've enjoyed watching. I I didn't see a horse today that I didn't like. Thank you. I mean, I you, appreciate you, it. you had some good ones. Uh, matter of fact, I was trying to get Tom to barter for one in there a few <laughs> minutes ago. Cause he he wrote it, and, and he did a good job. <laughs> he needs to get it. He needs to get back in there. Yeah. But Dan, I appreciate you letting us come out here and spend the morning with you. I really enjoyed yes, it. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, I'm the looking good forward. Lord has really blessed me. It's, it's it's a joy to get up every morning. It's worth all the long hours we put in when you get to ride some good horses like that. And we're but, really excited about show season. So. Well, you got some good ones. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the show ring. And uh, all I can say is. Uh, 
just go forward, big boy. <laughs> thank you for all you do for our business. Sir. Well, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed doing that interview with Dan. He, he's very knowledgeable, studied under a legend, Jimmy McConnell. And now we're going to show some of the horses that were at Dan Waddell Stables. That's a three-year-old starstruck. That's that's that filly got good will going. She does. Yeah. He uh. Dan, everything that I've seen so far has been outstanding. He yeah. just moves good, gets around good. I believe you were saying he just got that one there in. Yeah. 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 About like a week or so. For some people in Kentucky or something. He said he looked at her and he said, yes, I wanted him to take her. I believe that's the boy. Now, right here is this rich and cash. This is a yeah. three-year-old. This is about your... By my stuff. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cameron doing a real good job with that coat right there. Yeah, you like that's a nice color. So. Yeah, he is. Seen a lot of good coats over there. He's real, he's got a real soft hand with a horse, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like this horse right here. I, matter of fact, I raised this coat. I sold it to the people that owns him now as a year, as a wing. Got his daddy. Yeah. You can breed him. Rich and cash. I got one in both rich and yeah. cash. I'll tell you what, he's a walking bullet now. Here's a good one. Honor and remember. This well, you, story. I mean, that horse there, you can't, you know, what else can you say about him? I mean, he's, he's been there, done it, and everything else. Real nice horse. Well, I'm trying to get Dan to go ahead and tell me that Kim was going to uh, show that horse. He said, well, she has rode him. <laughs> that's all I can get out of him. And I believe that's probably one first. That's the first week he didn't rode him since all winter. Yeah, that's what he was telling us. Yeah, you know him. Yeah. He, he just decided to get him out and hit him a little. Yep. Yeah. Hey, what? That's a beautiful horse. He is beautiful. Not as good. I mean, he was he, he was easy to be around. Yeah. He's a good sized horse too. Honorable mention. I tell you what, this young man right here, he he is he's going to be a good one. Yes, he is. He I really think is. Cam got a lot of talent. I mean he's very easy. And I mean his brother does real good. I mean that's some good young men right here, him and his brother. Well, I know Dan Crazy. was very high on him about, about his helping and everything, but I noticed that Dan's got a good crew out there. He now, does. They, they get in there and go to it. Don't mess around. Get it done. And but I did notice one thing. Dan is a lot like Jimmy McConnell. I guess that's because he worked with Jimmy for so long. He's on and off, on yes. and off, on and off. He does not waste time. He works his horses. He works it. He worked hard at it. Yes, sir. And he's got them good. He. Uh, he has done very well, been very blessed, and, and he will tell you in a heartbeat he has. Now right here is one that's 19 years old. Yes. That is fixed to be shown for the first time, and, and, and for this little girl to show for the first time. But now, she is, uh, she is looking forward to it and does a good job riding. I tell you, them horses like that is worth their weight and go. You know, I mean, 19 years old, you put anybody on them, they're going to take care of them, teach the person how to ride. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's, that's very special right there. I know she was, uh, she was looking forward to it. And here's a master of jazz coat. Like this one right here, you can see the talent in this one. But now he's just bringing him along very slow. Yeah. And he, he said he was. He said, We're not rushing them. It ain't show season yet. They had a barn full in there. It's going to be a big 
coat right there. Yes. It's already good size. I tell you, you finally getting in gear right there on the outside. I mean, a lot of horses like that outside better than they have to haul that bone all the time. A lot of them, you, you'll get a lot more out of them outside. But I'm, I was very impressed with the horses that Dan had now. Yeah. He, he had some good ones. He had uh, several real good two-year-olds. That, that was a big thing, too. Well, the majority of these horses that we Showing on here was two years old, you know. Well, they're two and three. Real, yeah. I mean, every round, this every round this horse takes get better and better. Yeah. And there's Wilhelm. Now this right here has got a legacy with him because that is the last coat that Buddy Wilhelm bred. Was his last foal. That's the reason they yeah. came in Wilhelm. And he, he has got a ton of talent. Yes. I'm just so glad Dan took the time to let us come out there and do some videoing and check his horses out. I mean, that's. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Everybody was accommodating. Dan Waddell got, got a good crew, good lineup out there. I look for him to do very well this year. Yeah. This is a three year old stallion by Jose Jose. He's named Wilhelm. They brought some new people in the business. Tim and Missy Johnson are from Virginia. They bought some really good horses. Good to have some new people in, in the industry. So that's the last one of Wilhelm. Right. Yes, sir. That's the last one's name. That's pretty good. There's a three-year-old filly he had. I didn't find out which one that was by. You remember? I don't know which one that was by, but I tell you, it's taking a pretty good little step right there. Yes, she is. This is the filly that that young lady got. Okay, well, we, we saw some good coats yes. at Dan Waddell's. That's a good way to spend the Saturday morning, I can tell you that. Very accommodating. Everybody, that's for sure. Now this one right here is a, a two-year-old stud, I think, that he had that came from over there in North Point, Mississippi. Ah. That's a nice coat right yes, there. Yes, it is. I mean, he can scribe behind. I'll tell you what, Dan, Dan is looking at, uh, for me, he's getting locked and loaded for a good year this year. There's that honky talk girl that George Samora is how. Yeah. I don't understand why. That's a good one. We was out here watching that horse, and I don't know who was taking more steps. Um, that horse that George was, he was George walking was up, he was all place. over the place. He turned around, he <laughs> He is right there, you can tell he really liked that one. Tom, Chris was out yeah. there. This is one on the Mike McCormick. Man, got some good customers in Yes. Here. Some mighty fine horses. There's one thing about it, he works them all. Everybody, when they watch these horses, Jerry, everybody has their opinion of a, of a good Oh, yeah. 
I like to look at them and, and see what they're doing and, and just kind of try to visualize where they can go from where they're at. But I always look and watch the way they handle their back end. Well, if you know anything about horses, I've been around it. Right here's Golden Honor. Now yes. this is George and Kim Lewis on this one. Yeah. But if you know anything about horses, you can look at a horse and see if that horse is going to have further on talent. You know, it might not be doing what you want to do at that point in time, but you can see, you know, beyond that, you see that it can, that it, you keep working with it, it have talent. Yep. The late great Billy Gray told me, he said, Jerry, he said, the good Lord to give them a back end, he said, we can help them with the front end. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's true to this day. We've got one that will use their back end, then a uh, little pad, selective shoe. Yeah. Dan and, and Cameron get along real well. You know, I think they'll go real far in this business right here. You know, both of them can ride, can get off one and ride the other one, let them see, you know. Sticks in there with Dan, he might be a, that might be the you, Jimmy and Dan. That's right. Thing. So Dan learned a lot from Jimmy. And uh, Jimmy still, they, they still visit, still real close. Yeah. Cold blue. I can spend every Saturday like this. Oh yeah, it's good to go and see different people with different horses and stuff like that. And I'd like to go to some of the flat shot yes. stables, do the same thing with this. But even the winglings and yearlings when they're working, because to me, you can see a lot from them. And there's very few, a lot of people, they don't like to try to train them. Here's a whiskey road. But even your winglings and your yearlings, I, I like to watch them when they're leading them because it gives you an idea of what they are. Yeah. It's a nice horse right here. Yes, it is. It's nice. Well, I know that everybody that was visiting out there had their choice. And that's when Bob said, well, can I ride? Yeah. <laughs> Chris said he's gonna be riding some this year. Said he's already showed some. Yeah, that's a nice horse. It is. I told Tom he needs to be doing some bartering on that horse. Yeah. See if he can take over the reins. That was some real nice ones that we got to see. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happened to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Cold weather affects all animals differently. Animals can handle cold weather and they can handle wet conditions, but when you put both of these together, it can be extremely dangerous. Horses can naturally withstand zero degrees Fahrenheit. With shelter, they can survive below negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. All horses have what is called a lower critical temperature. This can vary depending on where the horse lives. If it gets below the horse's lower critical temperature, they will need to consume more hay to produce more body heat. 
With the colder weather, the accumulation of dried material without adequate water can result in impaction colic. Eating snow or licking ice can help, but it's not a sufficient water source. Most horses prefer water between 45 degrees Fahrenheit and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome to where the 5 to 9 more than makes up for the 9 to 5. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back. I had a good interview with Cameron Newton. I'm here at Dan Wydell Stables with Mr. Cam Newton. Newsom here. And Cam, how are you doing today? Good. How about you? I'm doing good, buddy. Doing, good. doing good there. Doing good. Tell me a little bit about yourself there. Where are you? You started that and everything. Um, well, I started riding horses back in Mississippi, where I'm from. And then um, last year, around this time last year, I came up here to Chevyville and I started working for Dan. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so how you like it so far? I love it. You I love, love it. it. Yep. Chevyville, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's different up here. Uh-huh. It's uh, the real deal, you know, all yep. the top great horses. Yep. I've been seeing you showing riding some horses here today and stuff like that. And I mean, you're doing a real good job. Thank you. You and Dan look like y'all go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> yes, sir, we do. Yeah, <laughs> we're a good team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing you're doing a real good job there. Yes, what about tell me about some of the horses you rode today? Um, let's see. The last one I rode was a fall two year old honors. Uh huh. And um, uh, he's real good. He's coming along. We uh we got him right before the celebration. Okay. And then we laid off of him, and we just started back really getting him going real good. And he's coming on strong. Um, I rode a two-year-old filly earlier, the black one with the blaze yeah. in her face. Uh -huh. She's doing real good. She uh she does gets better every day. Okay. She's one of my favorite fillies I ride. Uh huh. Yes, sir. But yeah, I, I watch you today out there, and I watch you your posture, and you're sitting on a horse. You handle a horse real well. Thank you. You're doing a real good job, man. I'm very proud of you. You know, I know you're a young guy coming up in this business and stuff like that. And, you know, and just like myself, you know, I was down in South Louisiana mm -hmm. and moved up here to Tennessee and mm -hmm. enjoyed it, made it my home. And I hope the same thing to yes, you. Sir. You Thank know, you. it's it's a big thing. It's a big difference from moving from working from somewhere down south, you know, right. move, working with a certain type of horse. And then when you move up here to Chevyville, right. with all the top ones and all the good right. ones, and you get to learn a lot of different right. things, you right. know, it's... It's a, it's a blessing that you better do that, and I'm yes, glad sir. you had a chance to yep. to do that yep. and everything. So, some, what's some of your goals that you got um, in life that you think? Well, I like to stay here with Dan as long as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, he's really gave me a good opportunity here. Uh, I wouldn't be in Chevyville if it wasn't for him. So yes. I thank him, uh, and really just see where it goes from there. Yep, as long as he keep teaching me and keep me under his wing and keep showing me the ropes that you know that's a, that's the thing you know that's like when I first come up here I come to work matter of fact when I first moved up here to Chevy I moved mm -hmm. here at this bowling here mm -hmm. here now and um working for Dick Peebles and stuff like that and learning different things you know when you when I come up here I knew some but right. I didn't know everything right. you know and you always can learn every day and this is a, this is a learning process every mm -hmm. day I don't care how long many right. years you've been in this business mm -hmm. you can learn something new every day in right yeah that's one big thing Dan told me that he learned from Jimmy. Yeah. Um, don't you, you got to evolve with the horse. You That's know, right. From years, maybe 20 years from now, you got to keep learning and keep getting better at what you do every day. You, you're don't exactly right. Don't be small minded to yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. 
you, you are right about that. The thing of it is that you don't never think that you know everything. Right. Somebody can teach you anything, and that's and you got to have an open ear. Right. You know, and I think by sitting here watching y'all two, you know, working with each other, I see y'all feed off each other. Right. You yep. know, and yep. that's and that's the biggest yep. thing. Yes, sir. That's the biggest thing. So, did you ever get to go back home, son? Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. I go maybe once a month. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I plan to go back today. Okay. Yes, that's, sir. That's go visit my family, mom, dad. That's good. That's yep. that's that's a good that's a good deal. Yes, sir. But um, but yeah, like I said, I've been watching you. You're doing a real good job, and Thank you me. stick with Dan. He'll show you a lot of stuff. He's yes, been sir. around. I've been knowing Dan for a long time. Yes, sir. I, like we wrote. Raised up in this business yep. together, you know, when I was young, watching him and stuff like that over at right. Jimmy's and stuff. Right. You know, but um, you're doing a real good job. Thank you. But thank you for doing this interview, yes, buddy. Sir. I appreciate thank it. Yes, thank sir. you. That's a good interview with Cameron. He's going to, him and Dan's going to be a hard team it, to deal I'll with. I tell you, he's going to be a real good team there. Cameron learning a lot, and he's a pretty well, he, good horseman. He, 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 I thought he did very well. Yes. Very well indeed. Right here at Ward Trace, Tennessee this year, and I, I was real high on this red alert horn. Yeah. But now Kim showed it down there. There she is right there. She made a heck of a show on, on this horse. Yeah, that is a nice horse. That horse, every show you've seen that horse take, he kept getting better and better. Red alert won it with Kim in the saddle and call me Samsonite, Samite, Samite. Stephanie Richardson was a reserve and it's only money, honey. I like that name. And Caleb Dawson, from Melissa Scott and Caleb Dawson. Kelly and Richardson on the Call Me Samite. But that Samite by Jose Jose. And Red Alert, that one right there. I, I love that horse. Yeah. Sired by Master of Jazz. I think about War Trace had a good show. War Trace did have a good show. I like that horse right there. Just you, you can see he is he's one of these that you talk about is going to get better, better and better. Yeah, better you are right. Keep moving forward. When I seen that horse the first time at that show that you put on, the first time they showed him, I can see that horse can keep look like he's going to keep, keep getting better and better. Well, I can tell you, this was when he was at the. Uh, Samps uh, War Trace. Yeah. And he went on, we, we're going to video, show a video of him at the celebration uh, where he, he uh, showed his thing. He was the uh, two year old maturity winner in the gilding class. Yeah. And Kim does a great job of showing him. She can ride. She's a good job. Nice horse. He is a real nice horse. Right here is your class 150th celebration, which was your two-year-old Marion Gilding class, but it was also the fraternity class. And he's walking in Dixie, won the class, red alert, won the fraternity. My tomahawk. Made a great show with Derek Grant. Sir with honors, Brandon Ashire. He's Raymond Reddington, Jesse Barnes, Ned Pillardor, Rodney Bradley, Shield's main man, Drew Graves, and Charlie's image, Blake Sims. Time to honor Mike Hanna, Strong Ambush, Ryan Cannon, what a Naming all these horses, this class was packed full of them. Uh-huh. And your maturity champion, Red Alert, Dan Waddell, George and Kim Lewis. And we're just getting ready to start a new show season. Yep. What? You're going to Philadelphia? Philadelphia, mm -hmm. Philadelphia, Mississippi. Look at that. That was good there. Hey. I thought you would made a fantastic yeah. show.
you know, Bobby Bradley does real good. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. He's a good trainer now. He's a young boy. But I've noticed he, he gets he get a lot done. Oh, yeah. championship and to me that carries a lot of weight. There he is, Red Alert and Dan Waddell for Kim and George Lewis. Well that's nice right there. That's nice, real nice. And here's the Alabama Jubilee. And this is your part performance class down there, which was a good class, but Mayor Field, Dan Waddell took the blue in that class. Knock them Ted, Jamie Chapman was reserved. Drop a line, R.M. Kelly. Deal with it, Mickey McCormick. So real, Patrick Thomas. And integrity, Edgar Abernathy finished out the rhythm down there. You know, that, that's another one of uh, Kim and George Lewis's horse yeah. field, Mayor Bill, and he was Dan's uh, stake horse for yeah. mm -hmm. quite a while. And he dropped him down to the park performance, and that's when it really came out how good a horse oh, yeah. he was. Flat, get it done. He can get it done now. He's a nice now. horse. Sometimes when you've got something on a horse and an owner that any time the trainer can say, well, we're not going to show him open tonight, you need to take him yeah. as an amateur. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right here is the Celebration Fall Classic. This is the state class. It, was, uh, it wasn't a large state class, only two horses in it, but now there's a lot of talent out there. Honor and Remember was right there. He won the class. Stone Don Gin, Edgar Abernathy was reserved. But now you're talking about the two real good horses. Yeah. Now they put on a show. Maria Bobo owns them. Stone Don Gin. They were two nice horses in that class. I like it when it, it, the talent we have today in this state class division, and you're talking about horses over five years old. We've got a lot of good ones. And some of them, your two and three year olds, four that keep improving and improving, now yeah. they're getting into that state class category and or division. And you're talking about some tough competition. Real tough competition. Yeah. 
like a sewing machine. Right. Doesn't run, he doesn't hide, he takes it. Yeah. That's one thing I admire about, about Dan Waddell. He, he, you got him, Jimmy McConnell, the people like that, the yeah. trainers, they, they go. He said, he said, that's what they pay us for. Yeah. Show these horses. I'm a true believer that your truly great walking horses are the ones that show a lot. Yeah. Get beat one class. Tough. Let's go to another. Let's go another one. That was a step off between two. Two good ones. In honor and remember took the, the ribbon and the roses. Nice horse. A real nice horse. Hard to beat that right there. Yeah, it's just hard to beat. Well, we're going to... I guess we're going to close out today's segment, but I do want to remind everybody of this coming weekend, we got Spencer Benedict Stallion showcasing over at Jacobs Farm, and I, I wouldn't miss that for anything. I think that's going to be, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of nice stallions. I yes, know there are. It'll be a, real, a bunch I'm of real nice stallions. It. And then, of course, we got the Philadelphia show coming up, Luther Watts down there, and then the trainer show. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I guess that's all for this week. We will see everybody next week with another episode of What a Horse. Will you be here? Yes, I'll be here. Okay, I'm holding you to it. <laughs> Y'all have a good weekend. Y'all be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.